In a stunning development, the location of the Third Temple has been changed. That's right, you heard it correctly. The once debated spot for this historic structure has been shifted with huge implications. So let's dive into this video today to know the exciting details and what this change means for the future of one of the most anticipated religious constructions in history. The story of the temple begins with King David's desire to build a permanent structure to honor God. Initially, God had instructed the Israelites to construct a portable tent called the tabernacle, which they could carry during their travels. Despite God's satisfaction with the tent, David envisioned a grander house for God. However, God declined David's offer but made a significant promise. David's family would always lead, and one of his descendants would build a house for God. David's son Solomon eventually realized this vision by building what became known as the House of the Lord on Mount Moriah in Jerusalem. This temple was central to Israelite worship for approximately 400 years until its destruction by the Babylonians in 586 BC, as recorded in 2 Kings 25.9. The Temple Mount in Jerusalem spans about 36 acres atop Mount Moriah. This site holds profound historical significance, tracing back to Genesis 22. 2, 4, where Abraham was directed to offer his son, Isaac, as a sacrifice. Later, King David purchased a threshing floor from Ornan at this location, recognizing its sanctity. He declared it the house of the Lord God and the altar of burnt offering for Israel, 1 Chronicles 21, 18, 22, 1. Solomon began constructing the temple on this site, known as Zion. God specifically chose this place as his dwelling, and he vowed to establish his name there forever. For centuries, the belief in the eventual return of Israel to its ancient homeland and the reconstruction of the temple has been deeply ingrained within Christian and Jewish communities. This conviction, rooted in biblical prophecies, has inspired many to study the scriptures for clues and signs of fulfillment. Although biblical texts are not always explicit, there are three indications of another temple. Two suggest the existence of a literal temple, while the third is symbolic. Resuming sacrifices, a sign of end times. According to prophecies in the book of Daniel, sacrifices will cease in the end times. Some believe that before the return of Jesus Christ, the Jews will construct a new temple in Jerusalem. However, the construction of a third temple on the Temple Mount is contentious, given the presence of the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, Islamic structures on the site. While some anticipate the construction of a new temple, others suggest sacrifices may resume on an altar without a physical temple, similar to pre-Second Temple practices. The Book of Ezra describes the Israelites offering sacrifices on an altar before the temple's construction. Ezekiel, a prophet born into the priestly line, shares a detailed vision of a grand temple. His vision includes intricate descriptions of the temple's design, measurements, and ceremonies. Ezekiel prophesies about a restored Israel, victory over enemies, and a magnificent new temple where sacrifices are resumed. Ezekiel describes a temple complex with specific measurements and chambers for sacrifices. He envisions the land ruled by a Davidic prince and Israel's revival through spiritual renewal. The prophet emphasizes God's promise to dwell among his people once again. The fulfillment of Ezekiel's vision sparks debates among scholars and theologians. Some interpret the vision literally, expecting a future temple corresponding to Ezekiel's descriptions. Others view it symbolically, representing God's future perfection among his people. Literalists anticipate a physical temple during the Millennial Kingdom, reign of Christ on earth for 1,000 years. Figurativists see sacrifices as symbolic memorials or ceremonies, not for forgiveness of sins, as Christ's sacrifice is deemed sufficient. Regardless of interpretation, Ezekiel's vision symbolizes God's promise to restore and elevate his relationship with his people. It signifies hope amidst turmoil, assuring believers of God's faithfulness to his promises. Whether literal or figurative, Ezekiel's temple embodies the eternal glory and intimacy believers anticipate with God. Exploring the Vision, the Third Temple in Jerusalem 
Did you know that meticulous plans for the Third Temple in Jerusalem have already been crafted? Drawing inspiration from ancient Jewish texts like the Torah and Talmud, scholars have meticulously designed blueprints over many years, ensuring a faithful reflection of the past while incorporating modern features. Envision a virtual tour of the Third Temple, witnessing its grandeur as it rises in Jerusalem. Detailed renderings and 3D animations offer a glimpse into this future marvel. Imagine walking through its main entrance, adorned with golden windows leading to the priest's chamber and a majestic doorway inviting us into the holy sanctuary. As we delve deeper into the temple's interior, we encounter chambers designated for the priest's use, each meticulously designed for sacred rituals. Arriving at the holy sanctuary, the heart of the temple, we are greeted by walls adorned in shimmering gold, reflecting the sacred light within. High above, small windows reminiscent of Solomon's temple allow beams of light to filter through. A double curtain, intricately embroidered with cherubim, separates the Holy of Holies, housing revered implements like the menorah and the golden altar. Tradition meets innovation as ancient stone blends seamlessly with modern materials like glass, marble, concrete, and wood. Our virtual journey takes us through various chambers and along the Masiba passageway before ascending the stairs to the roof. We fully encircle the temple from this vantage point, marveling at its grandeur. At the highest point, a panoramic view allows us to appreciate its architectural beauty from every angle. Here we notice a unique ladder for accessing and maintaining the upper levels, showcasing the temple's meticulous design. Every aspect from the intricate embroidery to the modern conveniences reflects a deep reverence for tradition, coupled with an eye for innovation. Delving further into the plans for the third temple, we uncover a rich tapestry of interconnected spaces, each serving a distinct purpose within the Temple Mount complex. Let's take a closer look at some of the key elements, starting with the Sanhedrin's chamber. At the heart of the complex lies the Assembly Hall of the Sanhedrin, the supreme religious authority. Designed to evoke reverence and solemnity, this grand chamber will echo the historic chamber of hewn stones. Here, amidst an atmosphere of tranquility fostered by a central fountain, the esteemed members will convene to deliberate on matters of religious significance. Their designated seats will symbolize their roles, while modern amenities like electricity and plumbing will be seamlessly integrated to meet practical needs. Then comes the menorah. Standing tall in the Jewish quarter, the Third Temple's menorah holds profound significance as a beacon of light in Jewish Jerusalem. Crafted with meticulous attention to detail, this monumental menorah adheres to exact biblical specifications and serves as a symbol of illumination for the holy sanctuary once the temple is erected. While rooted in ancient tradition, the design of the third temple incorporates modern elements to enhance functionality and efficiency. Advanced preparations include the integration of modern conveniences like heating systems and plumbing, ensuring that the temple meets the practical needs of its occupants while maintaining its sacred essence. The Temple Mount Complex is envisioned as a network of courtyards and chambers accessible at varying levels. This design allows for efficient flow and accessibility, ensuring that every space seamlessly serves its intended purpose. As plans for the Third Temple progress, Careful consideration is given to balancing reverence for tradition with the practical requirements of modern life. While honoring ancient rituals and architectural principles, adjustments are made to accommodate the needs of contemporary worshipers, ensuring that the temple remains a sacred space for generations to come. Nestled within the vibrant Jewish quarter, the golden menorah serves as more than just a decorative piece. It embodies the fervent hope for the restoration of the Jewish temple. Valued at about two million pounds, this majestic artifact symbolizes the collective aspiration of the Jewish people for the temple's return. Upon completion, it will find its rightful place of honor inside the third temple, illuminating the holy sanctuary after 2,000 years. Preparation for Reconstruction the Temple Institute in Jerusalem is diligently preparing for the reconstruction of the Third Temple, with the Golden Menorah being one of its most significant artifacts. 
Imagine the moment when the priests ascend the temple steps, ready to kindle the flames within this sacred vessel, marking the return of the menorah to Jerusalem after two millennia. Another vital element for service in the third temple is the golden head plate, also known as the crown. Inscribed with the words, Holy to Hashem, meaning Holy to the Name, this head plate reflects the reverence Jews hold for God's name. Crafted to exact specifications, it serves as a tangible symbol of readiness for the temple's reconstruction. Visitors to the Temple Institute can witness various items meticulously prepared for use in the Third Temple, including the head plate. These are not replicas, but authentic items designed according to biblical commands, ensuring their adherence to religious tradition. When the time comes for the restoration of the temple, the high priest will be chosen, and the sacred adornment of the head plate will be placed on his forehead as he serves in the restored temple of Jerusalem. It's awe-inspiring to realize that we can see the very head plate that will be used in the third temple awaiting its rightful place alongside the temple itself. Step inside the Temple Institute in Jerusalem's Jewish Quarter, and you'll be greeted by a collection of items meticulously crafted for use in the future Third Temple. While it may resemble a museum, every item here serves a purpose, meticulously designed based on ancient texts in anticipation of the Temple's restoration. Over 60 kosher vessels, from incense burners to silver trumpets, have been faithfully recreated based on historic descriptions. These aren't mere replicas, but are crafted to fulfill their sacred roles in the future temple, serving as tangible reminders of Israel's future according to biblical prophecy. It's not just handheld items. Larger temple pieces like the showbread table and the altar of sacrifice have also been reproduced. These meticulously crafted vessels stand as a testament to the enduring faith and preparation for the restoration of the temple service. Fragrant incense will fill the air twice daily on the golden altar, while twelve fresh loaves of bread symbolizing the twelve tribes of Israel will grace the showbread table each morning. These items aren't just for display. They're destined for use in the third temple. The reformed Levites, designated to serve in the temple, will stand at the gates with these instruments, welcoming worshipers to the restored Jewish temple in Jerusalem. The golden altar's portable design ensures its flexibility for use in the Third Temple. The issue of resuming animal sacrifices is complex and sensitive, leading to adjustments in the altar's design. Made smaller and potentially placed under a canopy to avoid controversy, these sacred items will be reserved solely for temple use once the Third Temple is built. While these sacred items await their role in the Third Temple, you can catch a glimpse of them at the Temple Institute. Don't wait. Visit before they're sent off to the Temple, never to be seen again. It's a unique opportunity to witness the meticulous craftsmanship and preparation for the future Temple service. The Levites, Kohanim, and their garments. Let's delve into the world of the Levites, also known as the Kohanim, the descendants of Aaron. These revered priests are diligently gearing up for their sacred roles in the Third Temple, actively preparing for temple service in Jerusalem. Clad in specially remade white cotton garments adorned with intricate sashes, the Levite priests are honing their skills through study, practice, and rituals. For them, the Third Temple isn't just a distant dream. It's their future, and they're diligently preparing to serve in it. The Kohanim aren't sitting idly by, waiting for the Third Temple to appear miraculously. They're actively getting ready, ensuring that everything is in place to resume Jewish temple service. From practicing rituals like the first fruit offering to the Passover offering, they're leaving no stone unturned. For the Levites, it's a historic moment. The first time in over two millennia that such thorough preparations have been made for the resumption of temple service in Jerusalem. Even the attire of the high priest has been delicately remade, patiently awaiting the chosen leader who will guide Israel back to temple service. At the Temple Institute, a singular sacred breastplate is meticulously preserved, adorned with twelve stones, each engraved with the name of one of Israel's tribes. This special garment will adorn the high priest when temple service resumes. Indeed, everything is being meticulously prepared, aligning with biblical prophecy. 
the Levites are ready, training, and gearing up for their sacred duty. The prophetic clock is ticking faster than ever, signaling the imminent realization of ancient prophecies. Moreover, sourcing essential ingredients for the Third Temple's sacred ceremonies poses unique challenges. Special oils like frankincense, myrrh, and the resin of the balm of Gilead are crucial, but they vanished with the Jewish exile over two millennia ago. Yet, despite these challenges, preparations continue unabated as the dream of rebuilding the Third Temple edges closer to reality. The journey to revive the cultivation of sacred plants for the Third Temple's rituals began with a daunting challenge, finding these plants lost for centuries. Thus, a global quest ensued to locate and retrieve these botanical treasures, eventually smuggled back into Israel. Once back in Israel, there was no certainty that these ancient plants would thrive in their original homeland. However, against all odds, a miraculous transformation occurred as these botanical treasures sprang back to life, revitalizing the land of Israel. Nestled near the tranquil Sea of Galilee, the Balm of Gilead Farm has taken on the noble mission of resurrecting the cultivation of these sacred plants for temple use. Every part of these plants, from the resin to the leaves and berries, will play a vital role in temple rituals. Thanks to the painstaking efforts of the Balm of Gilead Farm, Israel's long-lost tradition of cultivating sacred plants has been revived. These precious ingredients will be readily available for the Third Temple's ceremonies, ensuring authenticity in the Levite's sacred duties. Witnessing these ancient plants thriving once again, producing everything necessary for sacred temple ceremonies, is a modern miracle. As each piece falls into place, it becomes evident that a grand tapestry of preparation is unfolding for the imminent construction of the Third Temple. With each plant's growth, drop of resin, and fragrant aroma, the dream of rebuilding the Jewish temple in Jerusalem draws closer to reality. It stands as a testament to the resilience and faith of those dedicated to this monumental task, ensuring that ancient traditions are upheld for generations to come. Preparations for future rituals, such as the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, include selecting and preparing animals for sacrifice and remaking the lots used to identify the two goats, as prescribed in Scripture. The faithful recreation of these rituals ensures their observance in accordance with ancient tradition when the time comes. The box used for casting the lots has been meticulously remade, ready to play its crucial role in the sacred ritual. As Israel anticipates rebuilding the Jewish temple in Jerusalem, every detail is attended to, preserving the authenticity and sanctity of these ancient ceremonies. Location of the Third Temple and a Fulfillment of Prophecy The proposed location for the Third Temple, Temple Mount, holds immense religious significance for both Jews and Muslims. However, the presence of the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque Historic Islamic structures poses a significant obstacle to its construction. Debate surrounds the precise location of the Second Temple, with some Muslims believing it stood where the Dome of the Rock now stands. However, differing scholarly opinions suggest alternative locations, complicating efforts to build the Third Temple without infringing upon Islamic sites. Attempts to alter or infringe upon the Islamic structures on Temple Mount could incite severe international conflicts due to their sacred status in the Muslim world. Additionally, Orthodox Jewish scholars advocate for prophetic guidance before initiating construction, adding to the complexity of the issue. The sighting of a fox on Temple Mount has sparked intrigue worldwide due to its significance in Jewish tradition and prophecy. Mentioned in the Book of Lamentations, the appearance of a fox symbolizes a prophetic event, the rebuilding of the temple. According to Talmudic teachings, four rabbis' sighting of a fox on the Temple Mount symbolized the fulfillment of a prophecy about the temple's destruction and eventual restoration. This interpretation persists, with modern fox sightings reigniting belief in the temple's rebuilding. The return of foxes to Temple Mount in modern times is seen as a significant prophetic sign connecting the desolation of the temple with its promised restoration. Coexistence and Controversy 
The proposal to build the third Jewish temple in Jerusalem while preserving the Dome of the Rock has stirred both hope and controversy among religious communities. The God's Holy Mountain Vision Project aims to foster the peaceful coexistence of religious sites on the Temple Mount, accommodating Jewish and Islamic traditions. According to Islamic tradition, the Dome of the Rock marks the spot where Muhammad ascended to heaven. Conversely, Jewish tradition places the Temple's Holy of Holies on Mount Moriah, now beneath the Dome. Traditionally, the Dome's destruction was believed to precede the Third Temple's construction, but a new perspective has emerged. Yoav Frankel, director of the initiative, suggests that Jewish doctrine emphasizes the role of a prophet in specifying the temple's location. He proposes that a revelation from such a prophet could designate the current or extended temple mount as the site for the third temple, coexisting peacefully with the dome and other religious sites. The initiative faces opposition from Muslim and Jewish communities alike. Sheikh Abdullah Nimar Darwish, the founder of the Islamic movement in Israel, insists that decisions regarding the temple should await the Mahdi's arrival and warns against premature actions. On the Jewish side, Baruch ben Yosef of the movement to restore the temple rejects altering the temple's location and emphasizes adherence to tradition. Controversy extends within Jewish communities. Mainstream Orthodox rabbis oppose temple rebuilding due to ritual purity concerns. However, grassroots organizations like the movement to restore the temple advocate for renewing sacrifices on the Temple Mount. Maverick rabbis such as Rabbi Israel Ariel also support temple reconstruction. The God's Holy Mountain Vision Initiative presents a novel approach to temple reconstruction, aiming for peaceful coexistence amid deep-rooted religious tensions. However, significant opposition from Muslim and Jewish communities and internal disputes underscores the complexity of realizing this vision. And so what do you think of the new update on the location of the Third Temple in Jerusalem? Comment below your views and subscribe for more.